Uh, right, Shalom, Shalom, like give all praises and glory and honor to. Take a howl, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Kakadah. And the uh, heavenly Father, your name is like howl, and the son of Yat Son, Bashem, and then Mashah, Yat Shah. Those are their true names in the ancient Catholic people, the last one that I saw the tongue. And I say Morocco Thumb to the uh, elders while I came on Aqua, and I say Shalom. Out here once again on the highways and heads of the Chief Lesson Power Force on this uh, October 30th. 2024 on this uh wednesday morning and to why do you have my as always for giving us an absolute chance to come out here to do so looking up the days that you have why you chat and we're welcome to the uh elders this is uh what please ask for the chapter and those who it says uh see that giving this mind to the law of the most high and the occupied and the meditation of the law seek out the wisdom of all nature and the occupied prophecies while so we continue to be occupied in prophecies to the best of our ability. So, so I'm going to the uh, go to the uh, data, the latest news articles that be going on in the world today that backs up with the uh, biblical prophecies of the Holy Scriptures by Yahweh Shimon Shai. This is uh, yeah, it says drone sirens and the world is the idea of monitoring ongoing situation. It says, uh, foreign minister condemns like a cancel attack on the UNIFIL headquarters. Gallon from Rafa, Gaza, return of the hostages is a uh, court goal. And it says, the UN, another news article says, the UN Security Council warns against attempts to dismantle the UN uh, Palestinian refugees uh, agency. Another news article says the Israeli strikes Lebanon storm city. Another news article: Hezbollah rocket sharpens wounds one in the Upper Galilee. It says another news article: Police investigating a car incident in Haudera. It says another news article: It says uh, some 15 rockets from Lebanon fired at Hafez Bay side suburbs. And it says uh, North Korea and Russian foreign ministers to hold Moscow talks. Said uh, Russian foreign minister. Another news article from the Jerusalem Post. It says uh, missiles. It says the uh, Iran says missile productions. Uh, not. It says missiles. Uh, it says the uh, Iran's. Uh, it says Iran says missile productions is not disrupted by Israeli talks. State media says. It says uh, the IDF evacuation warn warnings from residents in Baraket and Lebanon. And says uh, CIA directors and other officials say Middle East for talks, like U.S. officials say. And it says uh, two wounded at a rocket hit near uh, Mount Tilla. Uh, another news article as of lately, October 30th, 2024, 11 a.m. by Reuters and it reads, it says Spanish flash flood kills at least 62 people in the Vaxidia region. It says uh, another news article. It says the U.S. Army completes for, uh, first training for air defense system in uh, incorporating Iron Dome. It says uh, another news article. It says the Shin VA chief running bar nominates them. Another news article says South Korea aims to send teams to Ukraine to monitor the North Korean troops. Officials say. It says uh, another news article. The idea of drones in Lebanon. That crosses into Israel's north. Another news article it says the surface to surface missile from Lebanon triggers sirens that cross uh, Israel. It says the drone sharpening hills hits building with no sirens. The IDF investigates, which the Israel Defense Force investigates the situation. You know, as we've been seeing, uh, you know, as we've been seeing, increasing as the has been heating up in the Iran, you know, the Iran Israel situation. So let me go to the uh, Jerusalem Post, I mean, uh, RT.com. Check with some more uh, biblical prophecies to the best of my ability. So as I brought out that uh, easy ask is 30th anniversary one, as we continue to occupy and prophecies to the best of our ability. Because, you know, we are out here, and it makes perfect sense, too. We are out here prophesying against great countries and great kingdoms of war, evil, and investments. Which it says in uh, Jeremiah 28, verse 8. It says, Kremlin comments on nuclear drills. Right, that nuclear drill that happened uh, a couple of days ago from uh, Russia to build up there. And it says, uh, the Israeli, it says Israel seek peace deals with Arab countries. 
which is that's highly unlikely. The scripture says uh, in the last days, the dragons of Arabia is going to team up with the uh, pro Iranian groups in Russia and Iran and all. They're going to team up together. And that goes to that secret of the gift shop. And scripture says, uh, first Thessalonians, for when they shall say, peace and safety, such trust for fun. As I uh, add a side note to that, it said Russian warships arise in North Africa. Right, just like I was mentioning, goes to sit in secret of the 38th chapter. You know, Russia is going to be a god to these nations of Iran, Ethiopia, Libya, and Turkey. You know? And then their main focus is going to be the Israel Defense Force, and that's what we're seeing. It says the world now has three superpowers for the U.S. general reports. Says uh, Ukraine to force another 160,000 men into military officials has reported. Uh, uh, now, go to the uh, news now. Yeah, go to the uh, news now. Salaki. So, It says uh, North Korea's. It says North Korea's uh, troop deployment to Ukraine cut test Beijing's Beyond tank ties. This is from Voice of America, published 13 hours ago. And then this is uh, from the Time magazine four hours ago. It says flash floods in Spain leaves at least 63 people dead. Officials have said that that news are questionable. So yeah, it goes into that, uh, I would say, second edge of the ninth chapter. You know, we're going to continue to see the uh, visitation from Heavenly Father and how we go. It says, tuberculosis surpassed the uh, cold word 19 as the deadliest infectious disease, the WHO reports. Right, that's the visitation from Heavenly Father, second edge, 15 verse 5 as well, too. It says, uh, Belarus and Serbia, cold word for <coughs> It says uh, from Radio uh, Free Europe, it says uh, Belarus and Serbia signs a co cooperation agreement on security forces. Okay. So I'm going to the new one. Go to some more news articles. Rock, so those was the latest news articles that I just wanted to bring. Matter of fact, we'll bring us some more. Go into the uh, digital currency. And it says, uh, yeah, it says Bank of, it says Bank of England, even though this was three days ago, which I, you know, previously spoke about when I did sit down last night, you know, the central digital bank currency updates of the MOTV. It says uh, Bank of uh, Bank of England press on with the digital currency in case of a fall short. Belly says that's from Rutgers three days ago. As we are uh, getting closer and closer to this uh, central digital bank currency of this cash society in order to buy the city. It said the CBD. This is a uh, news article from four hours ago in the reads the IBS intelligence. It says the central digital bank currency transaction is set to soar, reaching 7.8 billion by 2021. Right, so that's going to be the new form of currency. It says uh, uh, from Alton Coin Buzz five hours ago in a reports a uh, news article. It says Canada, Canadians hesitant about digital dollar, right? Even though it's going to be pushed forth, so you're going to have uh, others have mixed reactions, mixed feelings about the uh, you know the pushing of this uh, digital money of this digital dollar. It says, uh, coin speaker uh, published one hour ago and it reads, it says, Swift, un Swift 4 unveils paid with crypto un enabling uh, global merchants to accept digital currency. Yep, so that's another step to pushing up the central digital bank currency. I mean, it's already here, but they, they pushed it forward to make it more and more mandatory and uh, really building, you know, in these last days in order to buy and sell because very soon, you know, the paper dollar is going to be the thing of the past. As we definitely see an increasing growing signs of it. This is a uh, news article from the I, uh, IATA published six hours ago, and it reads the IATA, the IATA uh, to offer digital currencies and financial settlement systems. Yeah. Because, you know, everything is uh, digital. 
you know, digital transactions these times, these modern days. So that's why they're fully pushing, fully promoting, you know, they're further pushing and fully further promoting this, uh, this digital, uh, this digital payment system, this digital money system, this digital ID, digital wallet, digital currency. Because this is going to be the new for implementation of the new way in order to buy and with this uh, digital transaction. You know? And it says Russian published new crypto law and expands control over digital assets. Yep, kind. So that's another song. That's another signs of our digital currency. And yeah, this is a. Uh, yep, this says central bank digital currency sets to surge 2,430 percent by 2021. Right, because that's the further pushing of the MOTB and our CHIP of this digital currency, digital. Uh, Digital currency of this cashless society. Yeah, it says uh, from Bell Crypto published one hour ago. It says Florida State the CFO endorsed a strategic blockchain reserve. Right, so they they fully uh, showing forth uh, the blockchain, the cryptocurrency, the uh, Bitcoin, because this is going to be the new form of currency. As everything is digital, you know, digital transactions with the digital money, the digital dollar, that's going to be the new form of currency. Yeah, this is, uh, also, those was the latest uh, news. It says the great currency war, the dollar versus the bricks, has a uh, growing popularity of gold and Bitcoin. Yeah. There's no paper dollar. That's going to be the thing of the past. Even though, you know, the paper dollars around, you know, around the country, it's still, you know, it's still lives. But very soon, it's going to be the thing of the past as they continue pushing forth this, uh, this digital, you know, this digital currency, this digital value, you know, somebody said. Let me get to that uh, revelation to the 13th chapter. So it's a lot, it kind of slipped the tongue, a few, uh, few of the words, so it's a lot, whatever. And this is uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. It says, uh, it calls to all of them. Revelation 13 verse 16, and it calls them all most small and great, with the Lord of the Lord, to receive a Quran in their right hand or in their F O R E P G N S. Right, so in order to buy or sell, this is what they're pushing for, even if you're upper class or lower class of the economic spectrum. You know, uh, even if you're a rich or poor for your bonds, you see that Quran, that's the most small and great, right upon your body, and up upon your body, you to buy or sell. This is uh, Revelation 13 verse 17. <coughs> Revelation 13, verse 17. And then the Lord and said, say, say that you have a divine reward in the name of the receiver of the Lord. And the Lord said, you have a divine reward in the name of the Lord. And the Lord said, you have a divine reward in the name of the Lord. And the Lord said, you have a divine reward in the name of the Lord. Let him have an understanding, count the number of the people and see for his number of men. And his number is SIX, we have to be scored as an X. Revelation 14, verse 8, it says, And, and there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she had made all the nations drink the wine and wrath of fornication. Revelation 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed the same with a loud voice, any man worship the E and S C in his image, receive it, make the rival, and his name on all E and his name on all E and his name on all E. Revelation 14, verse 10, the same shall drink the wine and wrath of the house, and pull out mixture. His cup is in the nation. He shall be torn with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels in the presence of the Lamb. Um, and this is uh, Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. It reads to the Holy Scriptures. It says, uh, Because thou hast kept the words of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, but try them that dwell upon the earth. Right? So, I don't want to watch uh, as us being the servants of the prophecy of the Heavenly Father, you know, that he would keep us in the hour of temptation. This is a uh, major prophecy that's about to come to pass and be fulfilled. We are definitely are in those processing stages of it, of it about to be fulfilled and come to pass as well, too. So, as long as we continue to be faithful to the course of every Friday, I will never keep us on the average. I don't want to outside uh, your high will again. So, uh, now I'm going to switch up the uh, topic and get into these uh, latest news articles, earthquakes in diverse places. Uh, Salakia. Now, let's get into that, uh, uh, 21 verse, uh, yeah, this is out of the book of Luke 20, it's a lot here. this is out of the book of Luke 21, and, yeah, Luke 21 verse 11, in great earthquake shall be in diverse places, and famines and peasants, and fearful sites of where he's saying, shall be heavy, 
price. So we're going to be seeing these uh, increasing high magnitude of earthquakes in diverse places. And that's the visitation from Yahweh Hashem And we're going to be seeing these increasing families of pestilence and criminal sites and very sad shit up in heaven. And that's the visitation from heaven, body, and We're going to see more and more in these last days. And this is uh, the book of Second Edges, the ninth chapter. And I'm starting at verse 2. Yeah, this is the uh, book of Second Edges, chapter 9, verse 2. It says, Then thou shalt understand what is there is in the Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, uproars, and people world. Why are we going to see these uh, increasing earthquakes and increasing uproars in the world? And that's the visitation from Heavenly Father Yahweh himself. And this is a uh, book of Psalms 18. Yeah, Psalms 18 and verse 7. Then the earth shook and trembled, and the foundations also of the hills were moved or shake because of its rock. Uh, right, that's the visitation from Heavenly Father Yahweh. And this is uh, Isaiah chapter 28. Right, did you have those uh, heavy floodings over there in, uh, in Spain, the outskirts of uh, Spain, over like, I believe like 62, uh, 62 people were killed in those floodings. And that's the visitation from the heavy father. So we're going to be seeing these uh, historical floodings, tornadoes, earthquakes, landslides, floodings, famines, pests, and plagues. It's like it says in the second edge, it's and verse 5, before we see up the heavy father, and how we, he's going to send plagues upon war, sword, famine, and destruction. That's on the team to increase. That's because the increasing visitation from the heavenly father and how it was up these last days. Right? That's what we're seeing. Second edge, uh, not second edge, so like here. This is uh, the prophet Isaiah, chapter 28, verse 2. It says, And the power of Yahweh has a body and a strong one, which a uh, tempest of hell and a destroying storm as a flood of mighty waters, and they overflowing shall cast down to the earth what they hand. Right, that's the visitation from the heavenly father with these tornadoes, storms, and tempests and flame fire fire. And these uh, historical floodings and these historical earthquakes that we're going to be seeing more on these last days. And that's from the visitation from the hour of hosts, which the heavenly father, the hour, which he's the uh, true creator in the heavens and the earth, you know. This is uh, the prophet Isaiah 29, verse 6. Thou shalt be visit of the hour of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise and storms and tempests flame fire fire. Right, like I've been before, that's the visitation from uh now I'm going to get to that second edge of chapter 15 verse 5. This is uh, the book of second edge of chapter 15 verse 5 from the apocryphal books of the Holy Scriptures and it reads, it says, uh, Behold, save you, how that I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and torture. Right, because that's a visitation from the heavenly father that we're going to see in more world these last days. So I'm going to bring up the uh, latest news articles of the uh, earthquakes in diverse places as of lately. <clears throat> you know, as of uh, October the uh, 30th, 2024. This is uh, from uh, earthquake.usds.gov, and it reads, and it was a uh, it was a 6.0 magnitude earthquake over there, uh, 121 kilometers north of Kenya, uh, Papua New Guinea. 4.9 earthquake in uh, 82 kilometers west of uh, San Antonio, the Los Cabres of Argentina. 4.3 earthquake in uh, 24 kilometers southeast of Anquilia, Bolivia. 4.9 earthquake south of Fuji Islands. 2.7 earthquake in Port Oswald, Alaska. 4.7 earthquake in uh, west of Seiko, Japan. 2.5 earthquake in uh, Sky Winter, Alaska. 2.9 earthquake in Wrench, uh, Wrench Pond, Puerto Rico. 4.3 earthquake in Paul Mojia, uh, Puerto Rico. 3.0 earthquake in Patrick's Bay, Alaska. Uh, 4.7 earthquake in uh, northeast of Pembroke, uh, Columbia. 4.3 earthquake Mid-Atlantic Reach, uh, 4.5 earthquake in uh, Solia of Vantu. Right, so those were the latest earthquakes as of uh, October the uh, 30th, 2019, as well, too. Yeah. Yeah, hey, shout out to that brother, how would they be the scene just come to 21 verse 11, earthquake shall be in diverse places. 
Families and Pestles are here besides the great saying, shut up the hip. Of course, that's a decision for the other than I'm actually going to check. Sound the alarm blowing a trumpet now, so forth, never know. So, it's a lock you for that. So, those was just the latest news articles that I just brought out <coughs> that backs up of uh, biblical uh, prophecies and biblical signs through the Holy Scriptures about the body of how we accept them. And this is uh, second edge chapter now, verse one. He answered me then and said, It says, uh, as you got the time, let me share this second line, six parts of the signs past, which I had told you before, Christ, we're going to continue to measure the time diligently and itself to the best of our ability. As us uh, being service and prophecy of the heavenly father, we were more and more to the best of our ability. Second, Edges chapter 9 and verse 2. Then thou shalt understand it is a very same time where in the highest was the heavenly father in the house. Before we begin to visit the world, we may watch so the heavenly father is going to continue beginning to visit this earth and so more heavenly you mean. Because he's the true creator in the heavens and the earth. So you're going to see more increase in visitation from the heavenly father in the house itself. Second, Edges chapter 9 and verse 3. Therefore, when there should be seen earthquakes, up for us to speak the world, right? Just like the scripture says, uh, Luke 21, verse 25, this rest of nations will replace the seas with the world. And we're going to be seeing these uh, increase in earthquakes in diverse places. And it's uh, 2nd Andrew chapter 9, verse 4. It says, uh, Then thou shalt understand, it, is a very, it says, Then thou shalt understand, uh, then thou shalt understand that the most high can outwardly speak of these things from the days of the fourth year. Right, so the heavy father spoke of these very important signs from the days of the 40 years of the beginning. We would take heed to it. It's like our forefathers said this prophecy the time they took heed to it. Now we take heed to it in my day times for two. Second Edges chapter 9, verse 5, it says, Like all that is made in the world has a beginning and ends manifest. Right, all the beginning and the end is being manifested by these uh, biblical signs and signs of time. Second Edges chapter 9, verse Second Edges chapter 9. Six, it says, even so the times also the highest, which is heavy body power, and plain beginning and wonder and powerful works and any effects of signs. Right, so powerful works and any effects of signs that's going to occur more and more from heavy body power in these last days. Second edge chapter 9 verse 7, and everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith we have believed. Right, so through our works and by faith what we have believed as being the uh, servants of prophets of the heavenly father, you know. Second edge chapter 9 verse 8. Shall be reserved from the same perils, they shall see my salvation and my land within my courts, for I have sanctified them from me from the beginning. Right, because Heavenly Father has sanctified the Israelites from the front of the beginning. Second Edges chapter 9 verse 9. Then shall they be in physical case which they have abused my ways by the ways of Heavenly Father. They had cast away the spike and shut the world torn. Second Edges chapter 9 verse 10. For such as in them like they have received benefits, they have no hope. Who I received the benefits of the heavenly father Yahweh, but has not known him still to this day. Second Edges chapter 9 verse 11. And they that have low my law, which the law statute commands of the heavenly father, while they have yet lived as a place of repentance, open unto them, and instead of not despising Christ still to this day. Second Edges chapter 9 verse 12, the same was born after that by pain. Verse 13. Second Edges 9 verse 13, it reads, Therefore be thou not curious how thou God shall be punished. But a quiet how the righteous should be saved when the world is when the world is created. Kind of. Second edge chapter 9, verse 14. Then answer I and say, verse 15. I had said before now to speak. And I will speak it also hereafter. There should be many of them that wish perish of them that wish to be saved. Kind of. Second edge is 9 verse 16, like as a wave greater than a drop. This is a uh, second edge of 15, verse 1. Yep, second Edges chapter 15, verse 1, it reads, it says, Behold, speak thou of the ears of my people, the words of prophecies, which I put in thy mouth, say, I will cry. So these are the words of prophecies that the heavenly father put in our mouth. This is second Edges chapter 15, verse uh, 
So these are the words of prophecies that we're speaking unto the children of Israel, whether they hear with it or hear, even if we prophesy unto the wind. So these are the words of prophecies that we're speaking unto the children of Israel in these uh, modern day times, just like it was in ancient times. So whether they hear with it or hear, and we thank the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, for having a, you know, for us to have this opportunity to, uh, for him to put the words in our mouth to us, uh, prophesy unto the Israelites, you know, speak the word of prophecies, you know. Second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 2. And cause them to be written in paper, they are faithful and true. Christ of the words that's written in paper, they are faithful and true. Second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 3, it says, Fear not the imagination against thee, let not the incredulity of the trouble thee that speak against thee, right for the scoffers and scoffers. Uh, second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 4, it says, For all the unfaithful shall be I eat in your faithfulness. Second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 5, it says, uh, Behold, see if you have the bus. Second Ezra chapter 15 verse 5 It says, uh, Behold, see if you will, That I will bring plagues upon the world As we see in our world today The sword, famine, and destruction Second Ezra 15 verse 6 It says, uh, A great time to see The whole earth will burn out the city The whole earth will burn out the city The whole earth will burn out the city The whole earth will burn out the whole earth will burn out the field The whole earth will burn Just like it was in ancient times Now we see it in modern times But scripture says Ecclesiastes in verse 9 So there's no new thing for some This is second Ezra chapter 15 verse 7 Therefore, say if you verse 8, and I will hold my tongue no more, as that touching that wickedness which they profane to commit, neither I will suffer them in those things, because they quickly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood cry out to me, and the souls of the just the plain continues to Christ this to this day. Second Edge 15, verse 9. Therefore, say if you uh, I will surely avenge them, receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Second Edge 15, verse 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I suffered them now the way in the land of Egypt, right? Because this is a uh, modern day Egypt. Second, uh, modern day spiritual Egypt, just like ancient Egypt. Second, Edges 15, verse 11. But I will bring them out with a mighty hand, and they stretched our arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before the Egyptian lands of the world. Second, Edges, right? So just like he jacked up ancient Egypt, he's going to jack up modern day spiritual Egypt, and he's going to destroy our lands over as well, too. Second, Edges chapter 15, verse 12. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation shall be spent with plagues and punishment, and that your house shall bring punishment. Right, so modern day spiritual Egypt should mourn just like ancient Egypt, and the foundations of it should be smitten with plagues and punishment that your house should bring upon it. Right, so heavenly father, he's a righteous balance power. So he build up kingdoms and he bring them down because he's a righteous uh judgment power, you know. He get him uh, enough time to rule, you know, he build up their uh wickedness and he bring it right down because the heavenly father, he's a righteous judgment power, you know. Just like he jacked up ancient kingdoms, he's gonna jack up this uh modern day kingdoms. Modern day uh, spiritual Egypt, modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, so there's no good thing to see. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 13. It says, They that took the ground to mourn shall fail through the blasts hell with the fifth of constellation. Second Ezra 15, verse 14. Woe to the world, right? W O E, boy, great distress. Woe to the world, and did that throw their hand. Second Ezra 15, verse 15. What the soul of the world draw nine. Other resource for right? That's what we're seeing in the world today. This is up on the TT and priest. We know the modern resource weapon. Second Edge chapter 15, verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men, which we're seeing right now in our world today. And they shall invade one another. They shall not regard their kings nor their princes, and of course, they actually stand in that power. Right? That's why we've been seeing this. Uh, these leaders, they've been getting uh, deleted, deleted attempts from these. Uh, Citizens that's rise up against their leaders of power. That's what we've been seeing. We've been seeing the uh, increasing uptick in uh, seditions among the nations, seditions among their leaders of power, and of course, the actions stand in power. That's what we've been seeing. Just like uh, a couple of days ago, you had, uh, I would say, uh, a president, a former president over there in Bolivia, he almost got deleted, you know. So, hey, that's uh, that's not the first thing. Like it says, uh, expressing nations with reflections, he's rich born. Like it says, Luke 24, verse 25, in 2nd Edge, standard verse 3. 2nd Edge, 15, verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men, and many one another. They shall not regard their kings nor their princes, and of course, shall actually stand in power. 2nd Edge, 15, verse 17, a man should decide to go into a city, should not be able to. The fire is going to be taken. A man should decide to go into a city, should not be able to. These are the times for us to enter into. We see it right now, but it's going to come to the world effect. 
the second edge, uh, you know, because of the martial law, the state of emergency is emergency. Due you know, to the madness, the times of troubles, the great tribulations. So it's going to be a time where it's going to be a, 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 full, a full martial law like it was previously. But this time it's going to be a full to full effect. So it's going to be a time where a man should decide to go into a city, should not give to him. It happened before, but it's going to happen once again. This time, this time around, it's going to come to full effect, you know. Of the signs of the times we're living in, in the it says a man should decide to go into a city, should not be able to, right? So, if you ain't got that RFID and the CHIP of this uh technology that they want you to store in your body in order to buy your sale and in, in order to function in society, if you don't have that, a hey, so that's why it makes perfect sense. A man should decide to go into a city, and he should not be able to. And these are the times we're about to enter into. This is what we out here prophesying about you know, war, evil, and the pestilence. Prophecies about to come to pass in the field in these modern day biblical signs and the signs of the times, you know. Second Edges 15, verse 18. Well, because of that pride, like pride, but for instruction, how to report Paul, Proverbs 16, verse 18, as I reference that scripture. It said, For because of that pride, the city shall be troubled, and the house shall be scored, and man shall be afraid. Second Edges 15, verse 19, a man shall have a pity upon his neighbor, which we're seeing right now. Like it says in Matthew 24, verse 12, because iniquity shall abound, the love of men shall rise cold. A man should have no pity upon his neighbor, but should destroy this. It says, a man should have no pity upon his neighbor, but should destroy their house with a sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of credit and tribulation. Right? Because of the lack of credit and tribulation. Amos 80, verse 11, verse 13. Uh, Matthew 24, verse 12. Uh, Matthew 24, verse 21. These are the times about to enter into, and this is what we out here. Uh, that's what we out here prophesying about. Here. And this is uh, Amos 8 verse 11. Yeah, this is out of Amos chapter 8 verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, said Yahweh, that I will send a famine in a land, not a famine of bread, no thirst of water, but the hearing of the words of Yahweh. Right, so it's going to be a famine of word for lack of bread, for lack of water, but the hearing of the words of the heavenly body of Yahweh these times. Amos 8 verse 12, they shall run from sea to sea, from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro, try to seek the words of the heavenly body of Yahweh, shall not find it. Right, so many shall run to and fro, try to seek the words of the heavenly body of Yahweh, shall not find it. And these are the times we're about to enter into, you know, the famine of the land uh, for a lack of bread, for lack of water, but the heavenly other words of the heavenly body of Yahweh. So in these last days, many shall run to and fro, try to seek the words of the heavenly body of Yahweh, shall not find it. Amos 8, verse 13, in that day shall fair verse of young man, fifty first time. And this is uh, Daniel 12, verse 1. Yeah, this is uh, the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1. It says, uh, and at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince, will stand up for the children of our people, right? the Israelites. It's like he did in the ancient times, and he did once again in these modern times. The scripture says, there's no good thing in the sun. Daniel 12, verse 1, at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince, will stand up for the children of our people, right? the Israelites. And there shall be a time of trouble in the those times, such as never was, since there was a nation. Even to the same time, and at that time, thy people should be delivered, everyone should be found pregnant in the book. This is a dang Daniel 12, verse 3, they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the last of the To the time of the end, many shall run to a pro, and knowledge should be priests. Right, so many shall run to a pro, and knowledge should be priests in these last days. And definitely, Michael, the archangel, will have to stand up for the children of our people, which is the uh, Israelites. Just like he did in ancient times, he's going to do it uh, this time once again. Because there's no new thing in the sun, like it says Ecclesiastes 1 verse 9. And this is uh, Jeremiah. Yep, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 1. The word that came to Jeremiah from the house of sin. Jeremiah 30 verse 2. Thus speak the words of the house of Israel, saying, Write all these words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. Jeremiah 3 verse 3. The Lord the days come, said Yahweh, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, said Yahweh. Now because of the return to the land which I get to their fathers, they shall possess by the real Israelites. Jeremiah 3 verse 4. These are the words that Yahweh spake concerning Israel, the son of Judah. Jeremiah 3 verse 5. And thus said Yahweh, that I would not have heard his voice of trembling and fear of none peace. Jeremiah 3 verse 6. Ask me now, see what a man does away with the child. Wherefore, do I see that the man will stand to the Lord? As a woman is filled, all places are going to be filled. Jeremiah 3 verse 7. At last, it is even a time for the children to be saved out of it. Why so hard on rocks are never going to be saved out of it?
And this is uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, uh, chapter 3, verse 1, and it reads, To everything there is a season and a time for every purpose of the heaven. Right, so we're living in a uh, modern day time, seasons and every purpose of the heaven. Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 2, and a time to be born, and a time to be I eat, and a time to plant, and a time to pluck with that which is plant. Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 3, and a time to K-I-L-L, and a time to kill, and a time to break down, and a time to build up. Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 4, and a time to weep, and a time to laugh, and a time to mourn, and a time to dance. Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 5, to read, and a time to pass away, and a time to gather and come together. Sound the alarm for the trumpet now, so more than ever. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 8, and a time to love, and a time for H A T E, and a time for war, and a time for peace. Right, the scripture says, you know, there's a time for everything, so we're definitely living in the time for war, and we're living in the time for H A T E as well, too. And we're, you know, definitely living in the time for peace, and the time for love as well, too. On top of that, as well, too. Because everything is balanced, you know, everything is, is in the balance of the heavenly body, you know, because he, he makes everything balanced, you know. But we definitely for sure are living in those two important categories, the time of H-A-T-E and the time of uh, W-R, you know, W-A-R as well, too. And that's why we've been seeing lawlessness and iniquities, heavy judgments are increasing. We've seen uh, wars and rumors of wars, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom, war, people manifesting, so we're definitely living in those times. Just like it was in ancient times, our forefathers experienced that, and now we're seeing this in modern day times as well, too. So we're definitely living in a uh, modern day times. So we're definitely living in the uh, modern day signs and the signs of the times, you know, biblical signs. And these uh, prophecies that's about to come to pass be fulfilled, and we're seeing these uh, increasing war, evil, and a pestilence. But these are uh, biblical signs and the signs of the times. That's why scripture says uh, there's a time for everything. We're definitely living in a time of war and a time of HATE as well, too. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 9. It says, The thing that have been is that which is shall be, that which is done, that which shall be done, there is no new thing in the sun. Right, so there's no new thing in the sun, because uh, just like it was happening in uh, ancient times, now we're seeing this in modern day times. Of course, we're living in a, a modern days of uh, Noah, modern days of Sodom and Gomorrah, modern day Egypt, modern day Babylon. So modern day spiritual tower of Babel, modern days of Noah, modern days of Lot, modern days of Sodom and Gomorrah. It's like the prophets of old, you know, the prophets of these great countries, great kingdoms of war, even in the past during the end times. Now you're seeing this in modern day times, war, even in the past. So. Like I mentioned that, hey, there's no new thing in the sun. Ecclesiastes 1 verse 10. Is there anything where for it says, is there anything where of it may be said? See, this is new. It happened already all the time, which was before us. Right? Before us and our forefathers. They weren't seeing they had experienced that. Now we experience in this in this modern day times too. Uh Ecclesiastes 1 verse 11. There is no prayers of woman that see there should be any remembrance of things that are to come that shall come after back to that verse 8. Please, yes, because all this is going You have to go back to verse 8. Chapter 3, verse 8. Yeah, please, yes, because 3 verse 8. And in times of love, and in times of H A T E, and in times of war, and times of peace. Of course, we're definitely living in the time of H A T E, and we're living in the time of war as well, too. So we've got to continue to see that increase. Yeah, this is uh, chapter 2, verse 1. Yep, it says, Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 1, it reads, and I will stand upon my watch and set upon the tower, and I will watch to see what I shall answer unto me, what I shall answer for I will prove. Habakkuk 2 and verse 2, and I will answer me, say, right division, make a blank upon the table, and he may read it. Right, so bless he that read of it, and he that run a read of it as well, too, he's going to speak to the children of Israel. Just like our forefathers did in the end times, and I said, it's modern times. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3, and it says, for the vision is yet upon the time, the end shall speak. Which we're seeing is speaking when prophecies come to pass with the field, the signs and signs of times. It says, For the vision is yet for the point of time, but the end shall speak, not like terror. Wait for it because it should come when not terror. Right, so it's not terror no more. But it's the end speaking of these uh, prophecies. As uh, our forefather have a little bit, he said it's going to occur these times. Yeah, it had occurred during their times, now it's happening these times. Now, I'm going to get to that, Jeremiah. Yeah, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. It says, uh, The prophets that have before thee, before your own prophesied, open against many prophets, and 
great kingdoms of the Lord and the Cousins. Right, so we are out here in Box 7, there's great kingdoms of the Lord and the Cousins. Right, so we've seen these uh, war kingdoms of the Cousins in our world today, just like it was in our war box when they had the spirits that they was prophesying. You know, it's great kingdoms of the great kingdoms of the Lord and the Cousins. That's what we're saying in modern day times. So, so, Jeremiah 28, verse 10. The prophet was prophesied of peace, and the word of the prophet shall come to pass. Then shall the prophet be known that Yahweh has to accept. Uh, and this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 51. Yeah, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 46, and it reads, It says, They shall heart faint and fear for the rumor that should be heard in the land. And after that, another year shall come a rumor by its land, rumor against root. Right, so that's what we've seen in modern times by its land, rumor against root. Just like that was taking place in the prophets of old times, Jeremiah's times, they witnessed that, and we witnessed this in uh, modern day times. Why is the land, uh, there should be a, a rumor, why is the land, rumor, and rumor, and rumor, and taking place in modern day times, just like it was in ancient times. So, like, once again, you know, there's no good thing on the sun. This is uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 1. Thus said Yahweh, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon, and against them that dwell in the midst of them that raise up against me and destroy the family. Jeremiah 51, verse 2. And I will send unto Babylon's family that shall banish her into her land, for the day of trouble shall be against her round about. Jeremiah 51, verse 3. And against him that bid up the arch bid his boat, and against himself that the himself up the spirit, he not her young man, for he all all her hopes. Jeremiah 51, verse 4. Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans. And they that are thrust through their streets. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 5, and reads to the Holy Scriptures. It says, For Israel has not been forsaken, nor Judah of Yahweh of hosts, though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel. Jeremiah 51, verse 6, flee out of the midst of Babylon. Deliver every man of soul, be not cut off for iniquity. But this is the time Yahweh's vengeance, he will render unto her recompense. Like this, like he will just like the heavenly father render unto Babylon. He recompense in ancient times, now we're going to see this in modern times. Jeremiah 51, verse 7, it says, Babylon has been a golden cup, and Yahweh saying, for I stand to this day, have made all the earth drunken. This is a uh, modern day time of Babylon. Uh, spiritually, and this is a uh, modern day Babylon. It says the nations had drunk with the wine, and therefore the nations are mad, right? So therefore the nations are mad, and the nations are raised up against uh, modern-day Babylon spiritually. That's why we see the uh, downfall of uh, modern-day spiritually Babylon. You know? Jeremiah 1, verse 8, Babylon is southern fall, destroyed, how for her take off her pain, and so that she may be healed. All right, so there's no healing for Babylon. Just, what, just like it was no healing for Babylon in the ancient times, so there's no healing for uh, modern-day spiritually Babylon. So, hey, once again, there's no good thing in the sun. But we definitely see it. Uh, but we definitely see it. Uh, nations are rising up against modern day spiritual Babylon, just like they did in ancient Babylon. So that's another thing to say. Uh, Jeremiah 51, verse 9. We have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Right? So that's no healing for Babylon. But second, her let us go and go into his own country, for her judgment reaches the heavens, and it's lifted up into the skies. Right? So the judgment of Babylon has reached the heavens, and it's lifted up into the skies to this day. This is uh, the prophet Jeremiah 51, verse 10. It says, And Yahweh has brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare into Zion the works of Yahweh our power. Jeremiah 51, verse 11. Make right the arrows, right those arrows and pistols. Because in ancient times, those were born arrows. This time, we're going to the pistols. It says, Shields and Yahweh has raised up the spirit of kings and beasts, right? Just like Heavenly Father raised up the spirit of kings and beasts in ancient times, now we do that in modern times. It says, Make right for arrows, right those missiles, scatter the shields, and Yahweh has raised up the spirit of kings and beasts. But his device against Babylon is historic because his defense of Yahweh and defense of his temple, right? We are the temple of the Most High, we are his people from our forefathers and ancestors all the way down to us. So his defense is against Babylon and his defense against uh, his, his temple are his people, the Israelites. Uh, Revelation chapter 18 verse 1. Yeah, this is uh, Revelations. Uh, that's kind of a book that I still want to share my first chapter. That's kind of a book that uh, probably will have to restart it. Yeah, that was kind of a book that yeah, this is uh, Revelation chapter 18 verse 1. It says that the Lord does an angel come down from heaven. Having great power, the earth was like this world. Revelation 18, verse 2. It says, He's got a lot of people who are saying, God, I'm not going to say, 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 I'm not going to
Revelation 18 and verse uh, 3, it says, For all the nations shall drunk of wine, wrath, for fornication, and the kings of the earth will act committed fornication for it, and the verses of the earth are wax crystal, the abundance of the delicacies. Revelation 18 and verse 4, I heard another voice of heaven saying, Come out of the mouth of the this is like mentally and spiritually, we got to come out of this Bible time. Come mentally, you know, mentally and spiritually, come back to the righteous path and the righteous ways of the body, how us, this place. And uh, mentally and spiritually, we got to come out of the ways of Babylon and what promotes evilness and wickedness and unrighteous fruits. That's why the scripture says, uh, Come out of our mind, people. That you be not taken from sins, receive no more plagues. So we got to come out of the ways of Babylon and mentally and spiritually. Revelation 18, verse 4, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her mind, people. And she be not protected from sins, receive none of her plagues. Revelation 18, verse 8, is a heavy father definitely sending heavy plagues on modern day Babylon, which is uh, Mizraim, the house of bondage. You know, this is uh, modern day spiritual, you saw it more. This is uh, modern day Babylon, you know. So he's definitely sending plagues on uh, modern day spiritual Babylon, just like he did in ancient Babylon. Because this is a uh, modern day tower of Babylon. Spiritually, this is a modern day Sodom and Gomorrah, and this is a modern day Babylon. So he's definitely sending plagues on modern day spiritual Egypt and modern day uh, Babylon as well, too. That's why it says uh, Revelation 18, verse 4 for us Israelites, mentally and spiritually come out of the ways of Babylon, uh, come out of her, my people, that she be not protected from sins, proceed on her plagues. Revelation 18, verse 6. War, it says, War her even as she was born to give the devil unto her devil. Unto her works to pick up what she has, feel fear to her devil. Revelation 18, verse 7. He says, Now how she had more by the seven devils. So was told to saw forgive her, but she had seen her heart, brought the heart of your mind. The scripture says, the heart, the heart is the secret of all things. It says, I said a queen, I am the widow, and shall sin with sorrow. Revelation 18, verse 8. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death, mourning, and famine. She shall be utterly burnt with fire for your hallow that power who judges her by Babylon and Britain. Revelation 18, verse 9, it says, and the kings of the earth who had committed fornication with her, let the licity shall beware her and limit for her when they shall see the smoke of her. Uh, Revelation 18, verse 10. Standing up far off, prepare for Thomas, saying, At last, at last, that great city of Babylon. But in one hour thy just become, right? But in one hour thy just become, all uh, modern day Babylon great. Yep, everything's still good. So that's why we out here prophesying against the uh, down part of uh, modern day Babylon Great. So I'm gonna switch up the top and get into that uh uh that that uh MOTB, the R5 D the CHIP. Even though I brought it out already when I brought out those uh, latest news articles, but I'm gonna bring it out once again, you know, because this is uh definitely a major prophecy that's about to come to pass and fulfilled. You know, the pushing of this R5 D and the CHIP of the technology that they want you to store your body in order to buy and sell. Because we know very soon the paper dollar that's going to be the thing of the past. And there's going to be no more value. Because the new value is going to be gold, backed by gold and silver and rubies and currency. Uh, the digital, you know, the digital money, the digital dollar, that's going to be the new form of currency in order to buy and sell. Because everything is uh, digital nowadays, you know. So this is all these uh, businesses, these companies, these corporations, and this is what they're pushing for. You know, this uh, digital transactions, this uh, contactless five, uh, fast payment society in order to buy or sell. This is uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, and it calls all most all the great rich and poor and to receive a provider of their in and then that will all be HEDS, right? So, in order to buy or sell, this is what they're pushing for. Even if you're a lower upper class or lower class of the economic spectrum, even if you're a rich or poor for their bonds, you receive that prerogative that they want you to store in the right part of your body and the upper part of your body in order to buy your sale. And this is a major prophecy that's about to come to pass in the That's why we're speaking more and more about it in these uh, modern times. But this is a major prophecy that's about to come to pass in the Revelation 13, verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell, saying that he had the prerogative or the name of the PSC or the number's name. Right, so in order to buy your sale, you got to have that prerogative of the MOTB of this BEASC system or the number of his name, you know, in order to buy or sell, you know, that, uh, that SIX, that triple SIX, and that's what they're pushing for. So in order to buy or sell, you got to have that prerogative, that RFID and the CHIP that they want you to store your body, because this is going to be the new form of uh, currency, a new form of way of living in order to buy or sell. Revelation chapter 13, verse 18. It says, uh, here is wisdom. Let him have understanding. Count the number of the BEASC for the number of a man 
and his number is SIX3 underscore the SIX. Right, that's the number of his name on that Karaka. On uh, that, uh, you know, that Karaka of the R by DNC, which I feel the MTV. That SIX, you know, that true six SIX. You know, it's by yourself. This is what they're pushing for. And yeah, this is uh, Revelation 14, verse 8. It says, uh, and there, it says, and there follow another age, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she had made all the nations drink with wine and wrath for fornication, right? This is the Revelation 14, verse 9, and the third angel follow them, saying, with a loud voice, if any man worship the BEASC or his, uh, his image, yeah, Revelation 14, verse 9, it says, uh, and the third angel follow them, saying, with a loud voice, if any man worship the BEASC in his image, receive the Quran, and his F O R E H A D on his hand. Right, so if you worship the BASC or the Mark by the BC it's not people. Well, it's going to be a large penalty for that. And that's why we are here telling the children of Israel, we're not protected of that. We protect of the righteous paths and righteous ways of the heavy body of our people. Definitely not taking that for rock. Definitely not be part of this Mark by the BC it's not people. Of this uh, NOTB, of the uh, Karagma, of, of this uh, BEAST system that they want you to. Uh, that they're pushing towards for you to take. So, out of rock side, that we out here telling the children of Israel, be not partaker of that, but be partaker of the righteous ways and the righteous path for the heavy body out here. Because, like scripture says, uh, Isaiah 33, verse 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and the strength of salvation and the fear of the heavy body out thy power's destruction. So, definitely not taking that MOTB, be not part of this uh, BEAS system that they're pushing for to fully implement it in order to buy your sale because the uh the ultimate seed is going to come down with great rack so you have uh shut down the roof which is in uh revelation 12 verse 12 you know? this is uh revelation 14 verse 8 yeah revelation 14 verse 8 it says and the and there fall another angel saying Babylon is fallen is fallen that great city because she had made all the nations drink the wine and right for fornication right you see the other uh, downfall of uh, Babylon even this wickedness and unrighteous breeds. Now we're seeing the nations are uh, not hip to that game. Now we're starting to see the nations are rising up against Babylon. You know, like it says in uh, Jeremiah, the uh, the first chapter. In uh, Revelation, the 18th chapter as well, too. And this is uh, Revelation 14, verse 9. It says, And the third angel following the same, with a loud voice, if any man worship the BEASC in his image, receive a karate in his F O R E or right, his F O R E H E D or his head. Revelation 14, verse 10, the saying shall drink the wine and wrath of the power was poured out of victory. And his cup is in the nation. He shall, took, uh, he shall be told by fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the land. Revelation 14, verse 11, it says, And in the smoke of the atonement ascending up forever and ever, they have no rest uh, day or night who worship the BDA as he in his image, and whosoever receiveth the Quran in his name come. Let's see how much percentage I got left. Oh, 12%. I'm good. Wadi Habashmel Shah. Yep, just checking. This is, uh, yep, Revelation 3 and verse 10. Yep, this is, uh, Revelation chapter 3 and verse 10. It reads, it says, uh, because thou hast kept the words of my patience, I will also keep thee from the altitation which shall come upon all the world. It says, all upon the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Right, so as long as you keep the patience of the words of everybody, I will hear people's in the application. And this is a uh, major prophecy that's about to come to pass. This is a big uh, uh, prophecy about to come And this is, uh, yeah, this is uh, Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. It says, Therefore, we it says, therefore rejoice in heavens, ye that dwell in them, all to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the deceiver should come down unto you, having great pride, because you know you have a short time to rule. Right, that's why he uh, was implementing this uh, end up to the oak type agenda. And that's the pushing of this MOTB, the R5 and the CHIP. That's why they have a lot of us to not be partaker of them. That's why you have us to come out and do that. That's why you do not partake of them. You know, I'm going to rock this out that we do not be part of that tour, too. So definitely the ultimate seat is going to come down for great practice and what's happening in a short time. Now I'm going to switch it up. Now let's see. Yep, this is a game of chapter 3 verse 1. 
It says, uh, hear this word that your house has spoken against you. Or should be Israel. Against the Lord, I brought up my God. Watch that. Every part of these are still his people, uh, the uh, Israelites. So the forefathers and ancestors, they was in ancient Egypt. But you know, you look at that word Egypt, it goes into Mizraim, the house of bondage. So this is, uh, you know, you would say this is a uh, modern day spiritual Egypt. Because North America definitely resembles a uh, modern day spiritual Egypt. That's why they call this uh, modern day uh, Sodom and Gomorrah in Egypt. Like it says in Revelation. This is a uh, name of the spiritual that says, Hear this word that Yahweh has spoken against you, or should of Israel. Against the whole famous watch I brought up in the land of Egypt, saying, uh, Amos, there was two, you only have I known to call the famous of the earth, and therefore I will punish you all your enemies. Right, so the heavenly father has only known us to be his people from our forefathers and ancestors, and all of us. Which, you know, in ancient Egypt, there was a great deliverance out of ancient Egypt. There's going to be a great deliverance out of modern day uh, spiritual Egypt. This is Mizraim, the house of bondage. So, that's so that shows you uh, the heavenly father is only talking about his people, the uh, Israelites. Because the Israelites was a dark skin like people, and still to this day, even though we've been scattered among all the nations, you know, because you're going to have a lot of uh, silver, lighter brown, a lot of lighter purple skin in Israelites, and a darker brown skin in Israelites. And that shows you that the Father, he was on the house of his people. You know, like it says in Joel 2, verse 27, that is our purpose of scripture. And verse 3, verse 1, it says, Hit this word that you have has spoken against you, O children of Israel, right? Like we are the real Israelites. We are the real Israel. Yashua. It says, uh, hear, hear this word of Yahweh has spoken against you, or should of Israel. I guess the whole thing is what I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, Amos, name verse 2, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punch you for your iniquities, right for all our iniquities and our transgressions and our sins that we've been doing in the sight of the Heavenly Father from our forefathers and our ancestors all the way down to us to this day. Because the Heavenly Father chastised those who he loved, of course, are his people, the uh, Israelites. Amos 3 verse 3, can two work together except they be agreed? Now, if it's on the right path, then you have Hashem Yashai, of course. If it's the opposite of that, of course not. This is uh, Amos 3 verse 4. It says, Will a lion go into the forest? Will he has a break? Will a young lion cry at the end and take another? Amos 3 verse 6. It says, Can a bird or in a snare upon the earth? There's no chance for him. Shall one take up a snare from the earth? And he have taken up a hawk. Amos 3 verse 6. Shall they jump on the city and come out of the grave? Should it be in the city of the Lord as the Right, and that is the one that we the second edge of the verse 5. And the second edge of the verse 2. Isaiah 45, verse 7. Uh, so Rock 39, verse 38, verse 39. It's so uh, Amos 3, verse 7. It says, uh, Surely the house will be done with both the devil's secrets unto the service of the prophets. Christ the heavenly father, the devil's secrets unto the service of the prophets. We all these lights. Amos 3, verse 8, verse 9. Amos 3, verse 8, verse 9. Yeah, so we'll bring it out again. Amos 3 verse 7. Surely you have will do nothing but reveal his secrets unto his service crops. I'll go back to verse 6. Amos 3 verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people be not free? Shall it be evil in the city and your house has not done it? And he's definitely doing it like he did at the ancient times. Now we see that in modern day times. That's why he's sending these uh, tornadoes, storms, and tempests. He's sending vengeful spirits, lawlessness, heavy judgments. Uh, so they have the problems. See, they're going to bring that evil upon the city. Because, you know, he's a righteous, you know, he's a righteous, violence power. You know? Anything that heavenly father see that's wicked, over exceedingly the wicked, and he's gonna uh, execute that judgment. That's what they see. That's why it says. Uh, <laughs> that's why it's, uh, the scripture says uh, it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the true living power, which is the heavenly father Yahweh. Allah shine a terrible demon like power, and that's the heavenly father Yahweh. You know? Just like it says Isaiah forty five verse seven, I form the light, I create darkness, I create peace, I create evil. I Yahweh does all these things. You know? So he's gonna. Uh, Create those special spirits, like it says in Sora 39, verse 28, and verse 30, Isaiah 45, verse 7, uh, 2nd Edges 15, verse 5, and 2nd Edges, the ninth chapter, this world, too. You know? This is uh, Amos 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people be free? Shall it be evil in the city, and your house has not done it? Yeah, and the father has none. He's still there, still to this day. Amos 3, verse 7. But it says, uh, you know, like scripture says, uh, Malachi, the Malachi 3 verse 6, you know, the heavenly father, he doesn't change not. He still remains the same. Because he's the ancient of days, you know, because he's a righteous man's power. 
Amos 3 verse 7. Surely you have not power. 5%. Okay. Uh, get about. Okay, still good. <clears throat> Bring out a couple scriptures, then I'm close now. Then I'll get some round two and switch my phone over. This is uh, Amos 3 verse 7. Surely your how thy power will do nothing but reveal his secrets unto his service of prophets and prophets us to his place from our forefathers and ancestors all the way to us. So that shows you that he's only in the midst of his people. So he revealed his secrets unto his people, the service of prophets they are his place. Amos 3 verse 8. It says, The lion has war who will not fear. Your how uh, thy power has spoken who came well prophesied. Right, who came well prophesied. Just like that was taking place in ancient times when our forefathers and they was on the scene, they was prophesying. They see it in some modern times. Y'all can most there was eight the lion has four who will not fear and how that power has four who can't move outside. Huh. So I'm gonna bring out this uh last scripture then I'm gonna close out. Hopefully I can bring out two more scriptures then I'm gonna close out officially. This is uh Isaiah. Uh this is uh the prophet Isaiah chapter eleven verse ten. It says, In that day there shall be a root of Jesse which shall stand for the ensign to the people shall the Gentiles seek. His rush of glorious, right? So, we are the root of Jesse of our forefathers, our forefather, uh, Jesse. Uh, we are, the, we are the seed of him, the root of Jesse. It says, uh, in that day, there shall be a root of Jesse, which is stand for the ensign of the people shall the Gentiles seek his rush of glorious. And this is uh, Isaiah 11, verse 11. And it shall come to pass in that day that the house shall his land again the second time to recover the burden of his people, which shall be left from Syria and from Egypt and from Paphros and from Cush shall not have a mom from the islands of the sea. Right, so these are the areas that we still scattered at to this day. Like it says in Hosea 1 verse 10, you know, Israel should be a sand and sea. So we've been scattered on all places. Isaiah 11 verse 12. So we're not 12, of, so we're not 12 to 13% of the population. <laughs> that's not true. That's that's lies by Esau either. Because he's, uh, he's uh, like it says in Job, uh, Job 13 verse 4, you know, he's a forgery of lies, so that's not true. Because Israel, you know, we've been scattered among all the nations, you know. No other kingdom and southern kingdom, men, women, and children. Isaiah 11 verse 12, he shall set up an ensign for the nations, and shall, right, it says, he shall set up an ensign for the nations, and shall seal the outcast, right, assemble the outcast of Israel, and gather together the dispersed Judah from the four of the earth. Right, so that didn't happen to the Amalekites. That didn't happen to the mighty of Edomites. That happened to the actual real Israelites. From our forefathers and ancestors all the way to us. Because our national, you know, our nationality and our heritage and our culture and our customs, our language and our home, they are stripped away from us. So that didn't happen to the small hats. That happened, that happened, that happened, happened to the uh, Amalekites. That happened, happened to the small hats. That only uh, happened to the uh, actual Israelites. Isaiah 11 verse 12, and he shall set up an enzyme for the nations. And shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Right? He's going to gather us back together in these last days. The outcasts of Israel and the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Isaiah 11, verse 13. The envy also of Hebrew shall depart, and the absence of Judah shall be cut off. Hebrew shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not vex Hebrew. Right? They got to come back together so that one state, Hebrew and uh, Judah, the northern kingdom, the southern kingdom, and the top tribes. Isaiah 11, verse 14. But they shall fly upon the shoulders of the Philistines towards the west. They shall spoil them all the east together. They shall lay their hand upon Edom and Moab. Right, Edom, so called white people, Moab, so called Japanese, and the children of Ham, so called Japanese, and uh, Korea, Shu, and Baby. Right, Ephraim and uh, Judah. Isaiah 11, verse 15. And Yahweh thy power shall destroy the tongue of the Egyptian sea. With his mighty wind shall he shake his hand over the river. And he shall smite the evil and set his screens to make man go over dry shore. The prophet Isaiah 11, verse 16. See how much percentage I got left. Oh shit. Spot. <laughs> Wind blowing too. Definitely don't want my phone to drop. So lock it. Yep, this is uh, Isaiah 11, verse uh, 16. And there shall be a highway for the remnant of his people, which shall be a left in the city, like as it was in the day. Isaiah 11, verse 16. It says, There shall be a highway for the remnant of his people, which shall be a left in the city, like as it was in the day. Right, so this is a uh, mock day. Uh, you know, just like in ancient, just like over there in ancient Egypt, Israelites was over there, and this uh, mock day spiritual Egypt as well, too. You know, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. Because uh, you had the northern kingdom, they were in the Assyrian captivity. They still scattered over there still to this day. This is uh, Isaiah 11 verse 16. It says, In that day there shall be a highway for the rim of his people, which shall be a left from Assyria, like as it was in the day that he came up out of the land of Egypt. Uh, 
Hopefully I can bring in one more scripture, then I'm going to close it out. Two percent left. Yeah, this is uh, the book of Second Edges, chapter 16. I mean, it's a lot. This is uh, the book of Second Edges, 6, verse 7. And it reads from the Apocalypse. It says, Then answer, I can say, What should be the part of the several times? But when shall be the first and the beginning of it that follow? Second Edges, 6, verse 8. And he say unto me, From Abraham unto, right, unto Isaac and Jacob, and Esau, who were born of him, and Jacob and him, first of the hill of Esau. Right, so Jacob and him. Jacob had had held the uh, hand of uh, Jacob Esau, the hill of Esau, I meant to say, as a dem you know, as a uh, demonstration of right of that, you know. Second Edges 6 and verse 8. And he say unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau was born of him, and Jacob held had first of the hill of Esau. Right, Jacob held hand of the hill of Esau. It says second edges, uh, which is his uh, brother, uh, his brother uh, Esau. It's Jacob held his brother Esau. Is, so Jacob held uh, Jacob hold Esau's the hill of his uh, you know the hill with his uh, hand on this as I demonstrated that second edge six verse nine but Esau's in the world Jacob in that ball right so Esau's in the world Jacob in that ball you know we see the uh, increase and downfall of uh, Esau's kingdom and we have prop signed against his kingdom as well too and we see the downfall of him. so Esau's Esau's in the world Jacob in that ball. It's uh, Second Edges chapter nine verse five. For like all that's made in the world, right? It says, "For like all that's made in the world, had a beginning, had a beginning, and the end is manifest." Right? Uh, uh, end of an age of society of Esau, Edom, kingdom is fall. So we see the uh, we see we see the signs of it, and that's a beautiful thing. Ain't the body high by spirit shot? So we see the downfall of our uh, enemy. We see the downfall of our uh, evil brother Esau, Edom. So Esau's in the end of world, Jacob getting that follow. The beginning of the end it is being manifest of the end of the age of society. Esau keeping his fall. Yeah, so with that, I'm going to close now on 1%. So with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to And the uh, Heavenly Father, the true name is like Yahweh, and his only begotten son, Shabbat Shabbat Shabbat. Those are their true names in the ancient kind of Hebrew, the last one, the last one, tongue. And the Barack of Thumbs to the uh, elders will occupy until next time. I will say, Shalom.